huge, hugely historic, you know, first female, first African American. I am so proud. I am so overjoyed. You know, people ask me about the um, historical um, nature of it. And when we won the primary, I will tell you, I felt more proud for Delaware. I, I voted for me, <laughs> but I'm only one vote. It was people up and down this state from different backgrounds that stepped up and supported my candidacy. For Lisa, I knew that it would, it would take a lot of work because she gives 100%. I saw you cutting it like that too. We lived with my mom and my father, and she, she was a joy to the people in the neighborhood. People didn't really associate with each other, but when Lisa was born, everyone would come to the house just to talk with Lisa, to see Lisa. She was the one that brought everybody in the neighborhood together to do a, a show for our parents or you know she was a teacher when we played school. And she's always been that way so ma no matter where she is um, she pr she'll bring you together she'll say let's pray. Dad had us out knocking on doors and that was before the lawn signs became the rage in, in Delaware. As a kid we grew up uh, knowing about stuffing envelopes and talking to people about the issues that they have to deal with on a day-to-day -day basis. You know, so it was fun. Uh, for us, campaigning was like, it was a family affair. It started probably as, as, as young as, wow, wow, it goes way back. <laughs> you know, it's interesting that um, for me, this journey really started out of something that was a, a tragedy. Uh, I lost the love of my life, uh, Charles Rochester, at the age of 52, uh, just from a freak accident. And I remember um, going through that whole year after he passed, and then opening my eyes and seeing other people who were dealing with different kinds of loss, whether it was the loss of a job, or their home, or a child to gun violence. And so when she said, you know, I'm gonna do it, I was excited for her because I, I was grateful that the world was gonna finally see, you know, this wonderful servant. Lisa Blunt. We need people in Congress who are willing to work together with folks, you know, instead of what happens most of the time, which is people looking to divide uh, the, the different sides and factions and, and Lisa's just that kind of person. So it's kind of the Delaware way of doing things. I think I also would bring uh, a background of bringing people together. She is, um, she listens and she's kind and she's smart, but she's humble. Having worked with uh, legislators, I, I, one of my, um, the things that I really remember so well was we had to collect abortion data. I said to Planned Parenthood and to the Archdiocese, you both need the data. So how about we come together? Um, we were able to do that. And it was to find what is the common ground and how can we all achieve what we want to achieve. A lifetime of public service, uh, in addition to serving in the military for 20 years, I was a professor at Delaware State University for seven years captain uh, in the airlines and also as the mayor. So we can count on your support for Lisa Blunt Rochester? Do you think you'll vote for her? Hi, this is Dick Byrne. I'm a okay. volunteer for the I know that we bring our experiences, you know. Um, I know that, you know, having, having an African-American son, you know, who has been stopped by the police I bring a different set of experiences, but at the same time, having been our state personnel director and worked with the state police on a path forward, I also bring an experience of working with law enforcement. Uh, I, I, I call it extra. You know, I don't know if it has anything to do with the 
political climate, as much as it has to do with just like campaign finance, it, it is hard to raise the money, you know, and women, uh, people of color, we don't have that Rolodex. I was just with some women uh, recently who are running for office and they talked about some of the things that went through their heads. You know, one had very young children and she said she was hesitant about running because she didn't know how that would affect her children. Lisa was fortunate right now to be able to raise that money, but I believe that that's why. I don't, I don't believe that Delaware was not ready. I think Delaware has been ready for quite a while. But the most important thing, like I always said, I expected her to to do something like this. I saw this call in her from my birth, you know, and to see it actually come to fruition is, is pretty amazing. I want to represent you if you're a farmer. I want to represent you if you're a mom. I want to represent you if you're a dog owner. And that's why I love the House of Representatives because it is the people's house. And so I just want to go represent the people of Delaware.